the long awaiting tips video, the tutorial. <laughs> I ain't gonna throw y'all. This was a big grind, but coming out to the end, I got the best method to get y'all the goat mask and all these rings as quick as possible. Trust you, boy. You could get this probably in a day or two once you utilize the tips I'm about to drop for y'all in this video. So without further ado, grab yourself for a brew and let's get to the video. Back, now you broke in this game time. Brutal sim dog. Any challenge can contain my hunger when it's play time. You better get the name right. The 2K go road. You better know it. Get your popcorn ready, cause there's a movie showing. Highlight real of the best. One through five, I'm a threat. IQ top notch. I'm ball like the rest. My career player by kill when I step out on the park. I get chills down their neck. I walk in the park. I'm not done till I rest. Let me keep it going. Let me show you who the best. 99. Yeah, I grinded that. My channel, you subscribe to that. So you're done now. Your boy Brutal Sim on the scene, wicked and mean with a next video for y'all, man. So y'all know what it is by now. Take some time out, bless up your boy, like up the video. Definitely help the channel out because you know everybody gonna always put y'all up on game and keep y'all up to date on everything in the 2K community. You know y'all start the video off the right way by getting a huge shout out to the Brew Squad. Anyone y'all got that notification bell unlocked, come to the comment section and type first, second, third, know the gang of Brew Squad. Man, I gotta put y'all up there just to show y'all some love, y'all. Much love, much respect. Now, I'm about to give y'all some tips to save y'all a lot of time now when it comes to getting this goat mask. Now, let's go in here. Let me show y'all what we're talking about. Straight up, straight up. The goat here. You see a boy up there at number one. But see, what, what's it really important is for y'all to focus on the goat points and the championships to pass MJ. That's the most important thing in the game. Focus on winning championship and not necessarily GOAT moments. I want y'all to hear, listen to me again. Focus on winning championship and not necessarily GOAT moments because these do only contribute some points, but where you get most of the points in this game is by winning the championships. So at the beginning, I waste a lot of time trying to get these gold moments because I thought it would get me the most points and would get me up there. But after I won my first championship, I got over a million and something points. After you win seven championships, which is what is required to get to that number one spot anyways, trust me, you get a million plus something points, it will get way over the amount needed to pass this tier, this requirement right here. All right, so trust your boy on that. That's the first tip. Focus on winning championship and not GOAT moments, right? Because this would actually be a hindrance coming down low when you, when you start making these top 10 lists because this is going to lock you into a bunch of key games. And I'm going to tell you all how to get through that as well, right? Now, there are a few methods to sim through because you got to focus on simming through games. Unless you really got a lot of time on your hands and playing all these seasons. You have to win at least seven championships with me in seven seasons, which is a lot of games. It's hard for anybody to play out all these games unless you're a marker head. Who knows? I might go through there and do it the right way soon. But I'm trying to get this as quick as possible, right? So, the focus is on simming through games. Now, the problem with simming through games is not that the game don't allow you to sim through the games. It does. And it is very generous as well. So as you sim through games, it's going to have you scoring some crazy points. Like some of the games I was averaging, 100 and some points, some like 60 and 70. So they got you just going crazy when you sim in through games, right? So eventually you're going to meet these scoring thresholds because these points are contributing towards your statistics in real time. The only downside is you don't get VC for completing games. So if you need VC and grinding VC, you might want to play out some of these games. But anyways, when you sim through games, they're gonna reach up on some holes, right? That's gonna pause you a little bit. It's called key games. And they're gonna make up a bunch of stuff. Of course, you're about to break some scoring record. That's gonna be a key game. They're gonna stop you like 100 points before. And you're gonna have to go into those games and score those 100 points to get past those key games. So it's gonna keep coming back and forth. So what I recommend is you put it on rookie, go and score like crazy, and then pick up fouls and let them get you out of the game after you achieve that gold achievement, right? Very simple methods. Now, 
Outside of the key games, there are a few methods I use to get through other key games. For example, let's say a new rookie is on the scene and he's about to challenge you for your spot or Luker is a rival and they're going to stop and say, that's a key game. You got to drop him off. So what I do and shout out to Gambit for giving me this method is because I don't care about VC. I go and get two back doors and hang on the rim twice and get two technicals and they take me out of the game. Now you need at least a two hand dunk on your build to use that method. It's extremely fast to help you get through the season, y'all. Trust me, if you get lucky and get minimal key games, you can get through a season in an hour or two maybe. Trust your boy on that thing, right? And that's one season. But that's if you're lucky and you don't have a lot of key games. Later in your career, you're going to have a lot of key games because you're going to break a lot of records and it's going to pause you a lot. And then you're going to have to go in there, break the record. And then after I go and hang the rim or I fall out of the game. And that's how I get through those key games. So I drop a lot of gems there for y'all. Again, there's a method where you hang on the rim twice. And get two technicals and it take you out the game so you can move on and continue simming other games. Now you need some dunk packages. Now the next method for builds that don't have dunks on their bill is you have to foul out. Now there's a dunk side to fouling out and there's a dunk side to picking up two technicals. You won't get any VC with these methods. But what you could do if you want VC with the foul out method because when you get up when you pick up like four to five fouls early, they're going to put you in the last quarter or the final quarter of the game. Now, you could choose to foul out or you could just go scoring crazy and win the game. And then you will get over based on what level you set it to. Let's say you set it to pro or something like you got a thousand, probably a thousand three hundred or so VC every time you win. If you put it to rookie, you will get a, like a thousand VC. If you want to stack VC, I mix it up a lot because I was trying to stack some VC early and coming down to the end, I was like, you know what? I'm trying to get this goat mass as quick as possible. And I was falling all the way out or picking up the two technical fouls and getting out there because I was trying to get the last few seasons over it as quick as possible. So I could get this goat mass, right? So again, there are two separate methods to get past these key games. I gotta repeat it. You could swing on the ring twice to get two technicals. You gotta hold on to that rim until they call technical. And that's very simple. After you don't just hold on to the buttons, it doesn't matter. Any button, and you're gonna hold on until they give you a technical. You pick up two of those, and they're gonna get you out these key games. But if you have a certain threshold to meet, like let's say the scoring title top 10, and you're gonna pass someone. You got to pass that first before you decide to execute this because they're going to gonna come back the next game and the next game and the next game until you break these records. So you have to keep that in mind as well. Now, the next key information you need is how to choose teams. Now, I'll suggest you start with a team like the Los Angeles Lakers because they're pretty solid for the first year, right? Now, after that, I'm going to show some footage. You're going to see they're showing the overalls on the team after you win their first championship. All right. And shout out to Gambit. He brought this to my attention. Select the team with the highest overall. It makes it much easier for you to sim through games. So much easier because now, even if you're there or not, let's say you pick up the two technicals early in the game. You could trust and believe if you pick a team with a high overall, they're more often than not going to pull out with a victory for the game. And it's the same as when you sim it through games, especially going through the playoffs. You want the team strong enough to win so you could sim through the entire playoffs and they force you to play the last game, the championship last game only. So you could sim through that once you pick the right, the high overall team game, you'll be good, y'all. And it's all about simming through at the end of the day. Remember what I said at the beginning? It's all about winning championships. Okay, at the end of the day, that's how 2K set it up. It's all about getting these seven championships and the points will follow. Y'all could trust me on that. So hopefully y'all get enough tips in this video that will help y'all and, you know, help y'all fast forward the process. Of course, I'm going to add some clips to try to help y'all to see the process I've used as well. 
Um, when it comes to getting the dunk, so I do is pass it, give a quick back cut or whatever, and go to the rim and push the right stick and hold it up until I hang and get the technical foul. Otherwise, if you don't have a dunking bill, all you have to do is press the select button, or you all know what the select button, right? The one opposing the start button. Or you gotta press that to get intentional fouls, pick up four early to send you into the last quarter. If you want to follow the entire game, which some cases you do, just pick up two extra, pick up six, they take you out of the game and you move on to the next one and continue simming out games just to help speed up the process. Or you could go the long route, but I doubt y'all want the long route if y'all came to Brute's video, right? So hopefully that helped y'all out. Don't forget, select the teams with the highest overalls. Um, I advise to try to switch teams as well. Let me show y'all something. A benefit to switching teams is you get a lot of different jerseys and different type rings, y'all, okay? When you check out my jerseys, I switched with three teams so far because I was rolling with the Lakers, then LeBron eventually retired and the team just started struggling and made it hard. So the after I won that other championships, I then switched to the Spurs. So you see, I got the Spurs and they give you different jerseys and stuff. The Lakers are here, of course, and I got the Bulls. Those are the three teams I used. I would have used more if I started this method earlier. Trust me, I'm saving y'all so much time and y'all have no idea. Okay, y'all could get this in one to two days using this method. Whereas it would take me what I was doing before probably close to a week to really get it. And that's with me just putting in a few hours here and there, of course. I'm not no life in this, okay? If I know life in that, I would have been have this already probably the first weekend. <laughs> but with someone who don't want to know life it. The method I'm giving y'all in terms of fouling out or picking up two technicals is by far the most efficient way and do not chase ghost moments. Focus on getting season done with and getting to the championship rings. All right. So anyways, man, I might go back for the rest of the rings. Check out your boy hand bling bling. That's a bar. <laughs> And of course, I got the fly shoes, but I really don't want to wear it as well. Let me check it out. Show you all. I, I do have the fly shoes because the fly shoes, for some reason, do not have any function this year. It don't. Look, I got it all right here. Look, check out. It don't make you run fast this year. It just blue like. <laughs> it don't have any function at all. So anyways, man, hopefully this video helped you all out. You all know what is your boy Sim first time to the channel. Like, share, subscribe for more tips and tricks and anything 2K. This will definitely save y'all a lot of time if y'all use this method. So I'm about to go check out my Nike endorsement real quick, man. Anyways, y'all, till next time, make sure like, share, subscribe. I'll bless one. Be safe out there, y'all. Peace.